Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we have Gunslinger Suicidal Nuked. Uh, I forgot to restart my computer today, so there may be some audio delay. I'm going to check after this episode. Um, so again, if it's in this episode, then, you know, that's it's, it's for this episode. The next episode doesn't have it, and I'm just not going to bother doing that right now. Because I just don't really want to... <laughs> um, so today is uh, a different day this week. So I've, I was talk I've talked to Reese, I've talked... Goodness gracious! You'd be surprised I've talked at all. I've uh, I've talked this week about how it's been going really well. I've been getting up early and then like recording before the stream, and it's been super nice. Today I woke up early, and then I decided to leave the recording for after the stream because I wanted to play Monster Hunter. And uh, I think this was a bad decision. I think I think the right decision would have been to just get the recording done early. And then play Monster Hunter after stream, so I'd be playing Monster Hunter now instead. Um, but I, I, I wanted to, and that's what I did. And um, I, I'm gonna be a little bit put out by it tonight because I'm gonna be like much more tired as a result, for sure. Um, the the earlier I get to like relax, the the you know, because like I'm gonna be tired and go to bed probably around midnight, right? If I'm working until like nine, then I'm gonna I'm not gonna have enough time to like completely come down and, and relax and then not be tired you know what I mean like it's gonna be that tired right up until I go to sleep I'm not gonna have those three hours aren't really enough for me to like get out of the tired state before it's like tired because it's the end of the day and I'm tired because I'm gonna get sleep soon you know what I mean if that makes any sense like get like you know three hours might be enough time for me to, to relax after work but um, when when those three hours are then like you know, an hour and a half into that, and it's like, well, I'm normally tired at this point anyway, because I go to sleep soon. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't, I'm, I'm going to be tired perpetually throughout uh, the rest of the day. But, um, you know, it's okay. It's a decision I made, and I, uh, I had a good morning. I had a nice, relaxing morning. I made some lunch, and uh, sat with my cat for a bit. Got to got to relax. It was nice. It was, it, it was nice being able to relax in the morning as well. Uh, relaxing at night. Really? I didn't know there was there were all these sirens here. Relaxing at night is nice, of course. Relaxing in the morning, also nice. So, uh, well, well, I think it was the a bad decision to make. I don't think it's the worst decision in the world. It was uh, it was enjoyable. I did get to, to read a bit and, and play some Monster Hunter. And I have been playing a lot of Monster Hunter lately. Um, like in my spare time, I've just I've wanted to, you know. And so I am. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna say, "Hey, I can't play Monster Hunter" because I, I'm not. I'm not allowed to play Monster Hunter unless it's on. No, I'm gonna play Monster Hunter if I want to. Um, you know, like, oh well, so be it. It's it's this thing that I do on stream. Then then I'll do it on stream and I'll do it off stream. Uh, I haven't been making any like main storyline progress, but I have been doing some some side stories and some side objectives and quests and stuff. Um, I have been doing a little bit of uh, some optional stuff, but. It's, uh, you know, not, nothing nothing too major. But I've, I've just wanted to get in there and, and hunt stuff mostly, you know, try out some different weapons, farm up some gear, just have some, some fun in general, right? And, uh, so I wanted to do that this morning and I got to. And it was, it was nice. Although I am regretting it to a certain extent now because I am tired and I wish I could just relax after the stream's over because the stream is super tiring. Um, yeah. Nothing, nothing really to be said about that. It was the wrong decision. I'm not going to do it again. I wanted to at least try it, you know? Because I've, I've obviously, had, like last week, I, I did it pretty much entirely where I would record most of the stuff after stream. But I've never on, like, a day when I'm feeling good, like, put it off until after stream. Because, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's better, right? Maybe maybe I like that more. So far, I don't. I don't. It's not, it's not that bad. Like I said, I'm feeling good today. And, uh, you know. It's 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 you know contributing to the badness of my day, but by and large the day has been good. So a little bit of badness, it's still it's still a good day. Still uh, still having fun, still playing games and, and and having fun, you know. A little bit of badness didn't uh, is it gonna ruin that for me personally? I don't think. And I can say confidently because so far it hasn't. 
but this is the first video I'm recording today, so maybe maybe by the end of it it will. I'm gonna I'm gonna do two gunfire reborns today, because uh, I enjoy those a little bit more than the Yamjack tries recording them anyway. I think I've had a rant about it recently, where the the series as a whole is better, but you know the the, the individual videos are better in the gunfire reborn, in my opinion. It does take more time though. Is the other thing they 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 do take a lot more time to record, especially lately since we've been doing so dang well, like winning two games in a row, winning. I mean, that's pretty sweet, right? Getting better, but you know, can't can't always win. I don't think I'm at the point where I might be at the point where I'm gonna be able to win against the boss without the OP thing, but I'm not sure I'll be able to get it without um. Like consistently, you know. Anyway, enough gunfire. It's uh, it's a different day for me this week. It's it's the worst day this week, but it's still a good week. I'm still I'm still enjoying it. You know, I don't wanna I don't wanna be negative about it, right? There's no denying that this week today has been the worst. It's just that this is a really fantastic week. So the worst day is is still a a pretty good day. I'm still happy with it. I'm still pleased. I'm still. Uh, yeah, I'm just very happy. It's it, it's still so much better than last week. I just I can't state enough how much last week sucked. Oh my god, what the heck is happening back here? And why? Why? <laughs> just where did they all come from? And where did they all go? And is their name Cotton Eye Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Had the stream today. We had actually a few viewers in. We had uh, a couple of people showed up throughout the stream. I was pretty much like two or three viewers throughout the whole stream today, which was pretty nice. Um, the, the streams lately have been going a lot better, which is uh, is good. I'm hoping it'll work. You know, I've I've still got my hopes up for this this variety content. Um, but I mean, with with the whole like YouTube stuff changing as well, I'm not sure that's going to affect it all. And lots of stuff to kind of to kind of think about but I mean thus far they, they said that the age restrictions were going to start happening a few days ago and, and I have yet to be personally affected by it. I haven't seen any of my videos be marked as, as age restricted or anything like that. It might be only for if your videos are um, like monetized you know. It may be like an additional like demonetization thing but you have to be monetized before you get to see it, like you may have to be a partner or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a partner, but I haven't I haven't seen anything changing with it, so you know that's so far it seems good. Hope it hope, hope it stays that way, you know, hopefully. Um, but so far it seems pretty good, so that's good. That's good, you know. Anyway. I hope I hope it works out. But you know, lots lots of stuff to be changing on the streaming front. Lots of stuff to be changing on the YouTube stuff. Um, and it's kind of like I can't really know what I'm going to be doing on either for like at least a few weeks. Um, but the streams have been going much better lately. This week has been a very good week for streams. We've been getting our average viewers has been going up quite a bit. Um, we've had one person from the uh, YouTube who's gone over there. You know who you are, and uh, we've been getting typically an extra one or two people in the stream as well. On top of that, and uh, they've been they've been going really really nice. It's been really 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 nice to have. Um, okay, I wanna I wanna take you out like right here because I really don't want to wait around for like ever. Yeah, there you go. All right. All right. Heck yeah. I'm feeling generous. I'm just going to pause this real quickly. I just got to check something. Unpaused. Woo, look at that. Okay. We're getting annihilated by all these Zeds, by the way. What the heck's happening there? Here's all the stats if you care about that stuff. I mean, I never do, but I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody does. It's there. Yo, if you guys play KF2 and uh, you play on PC and you got some maps that you're like yeah I really like this map send me it you know in the comments down below on any video just be like hey check out this map and then check out that map I shall 
As long as it's not no spiders in the maps. Spiders in the maps is, is no go for me. I've got a message from my sister. I have to check that one. On our own for dinner. That sounds perfectly acceptable to me. I am typically on my own anyway. What am I going to do for dinner tonight then? I don't know. Pasta? Pizza? Maybe get some pita bread. Make a homemade pizza or something. On out of pita. Some people might say that's blasphemy. I say it tastes good, so I don't care. Get out of here, dudes. Get out of here, man. You have to go. You're your you're top priority. I don't want I don't want to be spat on. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing for dinner tonight, then. I could order Chinese. Why is Chinese always the, like, order thing, you know? Because, like, these days you can order anything. Yeah, I heard, uh, you know, actually, I'm going to fact check this. I'm going to fact check this. Okay, because I've, I've heard that uh, kids... Yeah, so, um, okay, okay, yeah, 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 so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the pictures of it, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a thing, so, you got, you got your, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm making no sense, am I, so, uh, they're, they're, there's this thing that I've learned about recently that makes me feel old. Um, phones. Phones. Okay? If, if you're going to be gesturing like you're on the phone, right? How do you, how do you do that? How do you, how do you do that? How do you, how do you do that? So... Me, you know, I pull down the, the middle three fingers, and then my thumb and my pinky finger are outstretched, and I put the thumb to my ear and the pinky finger to my mouth, right? I assume that that's what many of you people are doing, since recently I have learned that most of my viewers tend to be adults, or uh, young adults, or uh, approaching adulthood. Anyway, so uh, you guys, you guys probably, same kind of uh, hand motion as I do for... Uh, for gesturing as though you're on the phone. However, children, children, don't don't use that same hand gesture. They uh, they'll apparently, oftentimes, I mean, you know, if you grew up in a culture where, where that's where the 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 pinky and the thumb gesture thing is is prevalent, um, then you'd probably um. You know, you'd still use that because that's 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 what you've been taught is is to say what what you're on the phone, but you wouldn't totally understand why because like phones that look like that aren't a thing anymore. They're all square bricks, right? Like nobody nobody has like a, a phone that 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 it, that looks like that. It, they're all bricks, you know. And um, so oftentimes they, they'll they'll use just like a flat square hand up against their their mouth and their ear because that's what a phone is to them. You know what I mean? Which is just bizarre. I wouldn't I would have no idea what they're talking about if they were saying that. But at the same time uh, not to say that, but if they're if they're like motion like that, I would have no idea what they're what they're what they're trying to say at all. I would have no idea. Cause it, I mean I would now, but like before I learned that I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't have any clue that that's what uh, that they're saying that they're on the phone or whatever. Because uh that's just not a thing for me. Um, but it makes sense, right? It makes sense because, uh, you know, kids are growing up in, in, a, in an era where you know, everybody's got a cell phone. You don't, nobody has landlines. Nobody has, you know, none of, that, none of that kind of stuff exists. I mean, even if you go to, like, oftentimes you, to a fast food store or something like that and you have to use a phone, you get a cell phone. Because they, they, like, landlines basically almost don't exist anywhere anymore except for you know a few you know off like i'm sure we have a landline here 
Um, my parents are still feeling like they need that. Which is mostly because our grandparents know the phone number and we just don't want to make it complicated for them. But like that's the only reason we have it. So like when they are not... Well, when they're no longer calling us, we're not going to need the, the landline anymore. When we don't have family members who won't know that... like. No matter how many times we tell them, they'll, they'll never know that we changed our, our phone number. Um, then, uh, we don't need that landline anymore. I mean, it is also nice to have a landline in some situations, because, like, you know, if an earthquake happens, you're out of power, and it's an emergency, and you have to call somebody, and, the, and the, uh, your cell phone is dead, your landline will oftentimes still work, because it's on a, it's on a different, like, connection stuff. Um... The, the, the question, the, the, the real thing that kind of pops up is like, yeah, it's okay to plan for emergencies, but how often is your cell phone dead? And your battery pack that charges it also dead? And your car with your, um, like, adapter also is out of gas? And the gas station down the road is completely out of gas, you can't go there. And your neighbor also doesn't have a cell phone, and... Their battery pack is also dead. You know, like, like <laughs> there, there, there are so many things that you have to that has to happen for a landline to actually be necessary. That it's just like, come on, maybe, maybe it'll eventually come in handy. But like, your cell phone's gonna work. <laughs> your cell phone's, your cell phone will even work. Is more likely to work. Cause like, yeah, if your power's out, your 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 telephone. Your, your landline could still work. Even is likely to work. If you're in a situation that is an emergency and you have to call somebody and the power's out and it's like, you know, just like total emergency, everything, you know, everything's hitting the fan and it's like, we really gotta, we really gotta like call like 911 right now. Like it, it's a necessary thing. Like, hmm. Chances are the phone lines are also down, you know, like when, when something that bad really happens I mean chances are it's, it's gonna take the phone lines with the power lines. It's not gonna be just the power lines Because they're they're kind of they're not they're not quite one in the same, but they're they're I mean they're they're I mean they're, they're 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 pretty they're pretty close, you know, they're pretty they're pretty close together So chances are the phone lines will also uh, be damaged or not working and then and uh, your cell phone, however, you know, gonna be just fine. You know, gonna be just fine unless they're taking out the satellites in the dang sky. Your cell phone's gonna work just fine. So it's uh, yeah, you know, not really, not really worth having a landline, in my opinion. It's just not worth the. It's not worth the extra money you're paying. It's not worth the extra hassle you have to like find a place to put it, and then like, you know, like how long is it until houses just aren't even built with uh, like, are they even being built with uh, RJ45 or whatever it is that uh, uh, like stuff through the houses? Are they still built with that? So I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't even today. Like obviously, if you're getting, if like if I were getting my own house, I would say yes, put it in. Right, because it it doesn't detract from the value; it only adds. It's it, like it. It's not a very useful thing, but like at the same time, it just having the the connectors there, the the outlets for it is not that big a deal. But um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just not worth the extra like labor to to install them. I don't know. Like I don't I don't build houses. <laughs> I don't build houses. Um, but yeah, it's like uh. You know, kids will kids will use just like a flat square hand Either up against their 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 head because that's what a cell phone is to them, a and a cell phone is what a phone is. You know, like they'll be confused when you when you've got your like thumb and your pinky out and you like click it down on the thing and they're like, "What are you doing that for? Like, why are you punching the ground with your pinky and your thumb out?" It's like, "Well, I'm hanging up the phone." <laughs> what do you mean hanging up the phone? What's hanging up the phone? You just drag the red little circle over to the other side. And it's just, uh... It's kind of crazy, right? I think it is, anyway. I mean, like, like I said, obviously there's going to be kids who are 
growing up in a, in a you know family that uses the, the the thumb and the pinky thing, and they'll they'll know what it is and they'll be able to do it. But like, you know, how often does that really come up? Anyway, like it, it doesn't. It, it's really a relic of the past when uh, when there was like one phone, right? Like you don't you don't need to do it anymore anyway. You know, like call me. You know, it, whereas now it's just like you just text them, call me. <laughs> But it's uh, it's gonna be weird seeing it pop up in movies in like you know 30, 40 years with just the like hand. You know, are they gonna be like waving their hand next to their face like call me? <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe. It's gonna be, it'd be a, that'd be a culture shock for sure. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.